Hey, what is up, Fishaholics? So let me give you a quick recap of my day of fishing so far and why I am walking along a street with my fishing rod, my backpack full of camera gear. And the reason why I'm doing this right now is because today I tried to fish a private lake up here in northern New Jersey. I, uh, I just got back from Rhode Island, you know, so I'm done with uh, college for, uh, for summer and actually for fall. But um, anyway, so I'm only in Jersey for like a day and a half. And um, I, I went to this private lake that my aunt and uncle used to live at. I drove right into the, you know, the same parking lot that I always used to park. And uh, my aunt and uncle moved. And a lot of the community members know me at this private, private lake. But there was a new girl that was working the, the booth or she was working like the maintenance. And she, uh, you know, as soon as I got there, I got out of my car. I couldn't even get my camera gear out. She just was like, get the heck out of here. She started yelling at me. And uh, so I was like, yo, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to get a fight or anything. So I just left. And uh, she was right. You know, it is a private community. So, you know, I really don't have any right to fish there. And, uh, you know, when my aunt and uncle did live there, I did have a right to fish there. But now they don't. They moved to Georgia. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to get in one good day of solid bass fishing, smallmouth and largemouth bass. And this lake is just phenomenal. And right now I have about a mile walk ahead of me to this lake because what I decided to do is park, I got a car here in front of me, but I decided to park at a small little pond that has public access parking. And I wanted to basically walk all the way up there and kind of just sneak into the, into the lake. And the whole reason for sneaking in is basically because I have a big blue kayak and a bunch of fish stickers on my car, so I really couldn't sneak in, you know, again, you know, close to dusk or close to dark, because I have a feeling somebody would notice me and probably then call the cops or tell me to get out or kick me out. So that's that's the reason I'm walking a mile right now to uh, try and get to the lake. It's only 5 p.m., so by the time I get there, I'm assuming it'll probably be at least 5.30 p.m., you know, maybe a little after and uh you know i'm hoping it'll be worth it you know it's probably my favorite lake to fish excellent fishing smallmouth largemouth bass i'm gonna try and throw a few kitex around they should be on the bed spawning or they should be in pre-spawn mode let's make it happen let's do it <laughs> i got this big hill in front of me lots of bluegill sitting here in the shallows this is like the best dock fishing in all of new jersey on this lake that I'm gonna be, I'm fishing right here. Look how clean this water is, beautiful clean water. It's more like a reservoir than a lake. I believe the neighborhood, oh, nice bass right here. Just spooked a nice bass. All right guys, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. I think I'm gonna have some bass in solid action right now. Let's catch some fish. I got a bed right down here. Nice large mouth on it. Nice large mouth, not too big, not too bad. Oh, he missed it. He didn't, I don't think he ate it. I think he ate the tail. I think it's about a two pounder, nothing special. I didn't feel him hit it, so I probably could throw it back down there and get him again. I just walked a mile. I gotta break the ice. Gotta catch something. Oh, he's just playing with it. He's just picking up the tail and he's, and he's trying to carry it off the, uh, the nest. I think he'll hit it again. I think he'll hit it again. I just gotta shake it real violently in his nest. There he is. It's a pretty good one. There we go. Oh, here we go, guys. Okay. That is not a bad fish at all, right there. Just on that Kai Tech. Nice, pretty fish. Get him on his way. Go back to your nest, baby. Go back, go back. All right, guys, so that was pretty sweet. Fishing for like five minutes, already caught an easy two and a half pounder. I would put them on the scale to get an exact weight, but that was an easy two and a half. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna try and see what my top five fish for the day are. And I only have like an hour left of daylight, maybe an hour and a half, you know, of solid daylight fishing. Because what time is it right now? It is 5.43 p.m. So it gets dark at around 7.30. There 
serious smallmouth. Whoa. That's what I was looking for right there. Woo. Chunky, chunky smallmouth. Oh yeah, guys. Beautiful fish right there. Just on that Kitek Easy Shiner swim bait. It's a new color. I've never got had that color before. That is the Crystal Shad. Nice. It's an easy, probably uh, two pounder right there. Nice, gorgeous fish. Woo! See you later, baby. There she goes. There she goes. This is basically how I'm rigging my Crystal Shad here, is Texas style. And just pulling that hook, turning it around, hooking it back through itself. So the hook points out like that, but then what happens after the hook comes out like that, what I do is I push the rubber back up and I hook it back into itself so it doesn't pop out and hook on any kind of grass or debris. I slide that bullet weight down and then I peg it with the sinker. And that's basically how I'm fishing it. Got a little small mouth here. I'm on the second dock right now. Let's see if I can get him to bite this. Not even a second, that fish ate it. Oh, what a stud right there. That's a easy two pounder. Easy two pounds. You know, I'll put them up against my rod here and show you the length on the screen or on the video. He's right to the end of this Berkeley on my fishing rod right here. Nice fish, get him back to his nest. Straight down. Easy two pounder. And I actually saw a few bigger ones a little bit in closer, but I kind of spooked them. They were hiding out underneath the dock. And, uh, you know, they were probably close to three, four pounds. But I didn't want to try and catch them because they were spooked. So when I work my way in, I'm going to be a little bit more stealthy on the docks and uh, hopefully connect with the bigger fish. But I've been fishing for like 15, 20 minutes, and I already have over like at least six and a half pounds of three fish. Not too bad or not too shabby in my book. Got a small large mouth or a small small mouth out here on a bed. Shoot, he felt my fishing line. Oh, I think it's a small large mouth. He's pretty aggressive. Just shimmying it. There he is. This is a little guy. I'm gonna have to upgrade from this fish. Oh yeah, what a stud right there. Pretty healthy fish. Top of the jaw. Get him back in the water quick. Don't want him out of the water too long. You know, especially when they're on the beds. Alright, I'm working my way back to where I saw a few bigger bass on this dock that I spooked and they were a lot shallower. So I'll have a little bit better shot of sight fishing and uh, connecting with a smallmouth. It had to have been at least the three, four pounder at least. I think there was a three or four pounder in this slip right here, on the very end of the slip, like right in the middle. I'm pretty sure he was there. I can't really see him, I'm kind of just, oh. I see him now. Got him. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a chunk. Oh, you gotta love that. You gotta love that. Oh no. Don't break me off there, baby. Oh. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Woo. Gotta love that. That's probably at least two and a half, three. There you go, baby. There you go. All right, so that's the fifth fish of the day, guy. Oh, no. Yeah, that is the fifth fish. The other one was a rock bass that I caught. Been fishing for like 40 minutes, caught my five fish. That was an easy two and a half, three. I'll say two and a half just to be on the lower end. So I, got, I caught two two and a halves, two twos. So that's, that's nine pounds. And then 
I caught one that was around a pound on a bed, a nice little large mouth. That's, that's a 10 pound bag in 40 minutes. I think I can, I think I can call out the one pounder. I think I can. All right, guys, out here on another dock, and uh, this is probably one of my favorite docks. I like to fish this dock in the fall sometimes when I come here, and uh, you know you get a really strong wind blowing into this beach here or along these docks, and you can fish an umbrella rig and really hammer the small and largemouth bass. It's pretty cool. You really can't sight fish the fish on this dock, but you kind of just got a fan cast and target the areas where you think there's going to be a fish and most of the time the fish are a little bit on the bigger side. I've caught some four or five pounders off this area of the dock maybe because the water's a little bit deeper. Oh there's a good one. Just spotted a good one. Good one. Easy four. Easy four pounder. Easy four pounder. Eat it please baby eat it. There he is. What was I saying? A little bigger. Oh no, he's not four pounds. Maybe three, maybe three. Oh, got him. Easy three pounder right there. Woo! Oh, easy three pounder. Size that fish right there. That's a nice one. Nice chunky large mouth. Let's get him back in the water. That's gonna get me over 10 pounds right here with this fish. Easy. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. I have three different colors here of Kitech Easy Shiner swim baits. One is Sexy Shad, which is one of my favorite colors. And the other one is Bluegill Flash. And then I have this other one, Crystal Shad. And I haven't even switched to the other colors because I'm just banging the heck out of them on the Crystal Shad. And uh, you know, I figure why, why change to a different color if you're catching them on one color? So you might as well stay consistent. You know what I mean? Peg the weight, I'm ready, I'm back in action. Oh, there he is. Oh, nice small mouth. Might be another two pounder. I don't know if he's an upgrade. No, he's a little guy. Oh, he picked it up right off the bottom. He almost ate that, this little guy. Almost ate it though. I got him. Suck that swim bait down. This looks like a pre-spawn fish. Kind of on the chunkier side. Looks like a little pre-spawn female. See you later, girly. Aw, oh, shoot. Pickerel. Pickerel. <laughs> that's not, that's not what I wanted. I saw the silhouette of him. And he just went right back under the dock with it. Not that many pickerel in here, which is good. Mostly bass. Woo! All right, guys, you missed this two and a half, two and three quarters, maybe. Nice chunky fish. She definitely looks pre-spawned. And uh, this fish probably is gonna get me up around that 12-pound mark, maybe 13. I wish I could weigh them, but you know I don't have a. Well, I do have a scale, but you know they look like they're spawning or they're about to spawn, so I just want to get them back in the water. So There she goes, there she goes. I caught that bass on the bluegill flash, and so far the entire day I've been fishing with the crystal shad, but I decided to switch it up. First flip right here in between these boats, you know, I nailed her. Oh, another bass right there, nice chunk. Two and a quarter right there but uh, I was actually just about to say guys this is the third long dock that I have left 
I have two more to the left of me here and caught this one on the bluegill flash kytex swim bait and if I can catch three bass on this third dock here I'm probably gonna head out and leave whoa so that I don't have to walk back to my car in the dark so I'm hoping to catch three at this one dock here or more but at least three look at the size of this bluegill I just or this uh, pumpkin seed oh my gosh I don't even know how he got hooked but wow that'd be fun through the ice look at the size of that pumpkin seed wow massive Whew. all right fishing hogs just walked the mile back to my car to the park that I parked at and uh, that is why right there that's my favorite New Jersey bass lake you know easily over 10 or 11 pounds in a couple hours of fishing you know just with that Kai Tech Easy Shiner swim bait from Ramsey Outdoor Store in New Jersey and uh, how I was rigging that swim bait today was just Texas style on a 2.0 Gamagatsu EWG offset worm hook pegged with a quarter ounce tungsten bullet weight and um, you know you're probably thinking like oh that's a private lake it probably doesn't receive that much pressure which you're right you know it doesn't receive like at all you know any pressure so you know you probably I probably could have threw a variety of baits to catch fish today but today was kind of just a fun day of fishing last day in Jersey for a while kind of fishing day and uh, I just wanted to get into some really good fishing, so it was totally worth it to walk the two miles today to uh, get out there and catch some nice smallmouth and largemouth bass. This technique does work, though, up and down the coast. I actually discovered this technique, you know, in my tournament days when I was fishing on Candlewood Lake in Connecticut, and uh, you know that's how uh, I figured out that it just straight up catches and hammers smallmouth and largemouth bass. And um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If uh, Got any more questions about how I caught fish today, just post a comment in the comment section below or look in the description below for any more information about you know, how I was catching fish, how I was rigging to catch fish, and uh, yeah, if you want to know any more questions about how I was filming this video today. And uh, also as well, you know, if you have any uh, estimates of how many pounds you think I caught today, post it in the comment section below. I was thinking around 10, 11 pounds, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but uh, I definitely caught five fish that were you know, over you know, two pounds or two pounds and above and then at least one that was three. So caught some nice fish. There's definitely good, gotta be some weight there. But until next time guys, live to fish, fish to live. I'll see you guys out of the water.